But if you have a realtor that can point you to the right direction, not only saves you time, but also saves you stress and headache. What is going on guys? It's RJ Bautista here, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I have a good video that you need to watch. Why you need to hire a realtor and this video is particular for me and also my teammate all the way to Tampa which is Rio. If you want to know why you should hire a realtor, make sure you watch this video from this start until the end and this is going to be two parts and this is going to be the part one and the part two I will upload it by next week or a week after. So make sure you stay tuned. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Email us, text us, call us, whatever you want to know. We'll just be here for you. All right. So enjoying this video. What's going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm with my good friend and also a realtor as well, all the way from Tampa. She is going to give us like some benefits of how to hire a realtor and what is our job as a realtor or real estate agent and also we will explain to you why you need to hire a real estate agent upon buying or selling a property because this is very important so if you are in defense of buying or selling the property make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you will understand maybe you hire a better or a good realtor or real estate agent that could help you in your buying or selling a property process okay but first of all I would like to introduce my teammate here all the way from Tampa Rio would you like to introduce yourself where you're from and how did you get into real estate hi RJ thank you so much for inviting me in your YouTube channel I'm very excited to share all of my knowledge to everyone that are looking to buy real estate I am originally from the Philippines but I moved here in the United States a few years ago and real estate has always been my dream you know getting into it and learning because because we always dream about wealth, right? Having those freedom. And I believe real estate is a good way. Historical wise, you know, is a really great investment for everyone. And being in the real estate industry gives you more knowledge. That's why I'm very just excited to share to everyone what are the benefits on buying real estate and how it can help you grow your wealth. Thank you so much for the little introduction, Rio. And I really appreciate that one. Would you like to tell where you're based from? Like your area you're serving so people know you know if they particularly looking for like in Tampa area would you like to introduce that as well absolutely so I service in area in Tampa St. Pete and Clearwater so if you are in those area I have a local expertise in that market but if you are also looking let's say maybe in Brandon or just like the nearby areas as long as I can drive there I'll be there for you you know but I am a local expert in Tampa specifically to be specific in West Chase Town and Country so if you are looking to buy one talk to us <laughs> we'll make your plan for you all right that's wonderful thank you for sharing that so let's go for my uh, few questions that i just you know prepared it for this particular session because i experience my myself when i'm talking to my clients or people who's wondering like oh should i hire a realtor or should i do it by myself okay so if you're watching this for those people who are thinking about this so make sure you stay tuned from this start until then okay so shall we go to the first question so let me just uh, read my questionnaire here in my phone so i just put it here okay for first question why do you need to hire a real estate agent or realtor when buying or selling a property let's say what is our job to people you know mm -hmm. representing them as a realtor or real estate agent what would you say about that one absolutely i think there are a lot of benefits in hiring a realtor number one and that is discovering hidden properties that are not visible because if you are searching from realtor.com or zillow right there are properties that are already in process or under contract that might not appear in there and then you're still searching for it and looking you know to get to the house and then you know at the end all of those searchings for you will be not worth it because it's maybe it's not available or it's a scum list because everyone can just list in Zillow and Realtor.com right but if you have a real a real estate agent that you use they can give you realtor only data that updates every five minutes so if you're looking into a property and if it's active then they can show you that but if it's under contract they can let you know and say 
save you so much time. I think having, you know, a realtor just really makes saves you time. For example, it's also like education on home buying process. If you are figuring out the map, right? The roadmap on buying your home, especially if this is your first time, I highly recommend on getting a realtor. Why? Because you don't know what you don't know. And if you made the mistakes, that will cost you so much time and maybe money, right? But if you have a realtor that can point you to the right direction, not only saves you time, but also saves you stress and headache. And I think also having a realtor really helps you with negotiating the price, right? Because a lot of the times, especially now that we're moving into a new market, your real estate agent are the ones who will help you to buy the house that you want in the price that you are most comfortable with. Yeah, that's correct. And also, I would just like to include that, like we are representing them, right? Yeah. They don't have to think like, oh, what should I do on this particular property? And also we do the work for them or we work for you, right? So Absolutely. we do the hard work for them and all they need is just come to the um, property if they want to see the property or, you know, if they want to sell it, you know, we just let do the work. Like for marketing stuff, we will do the marketing, picture, you know, social media. Hiring the studio <laughs> editor. Everything yeah. is done for you guys. All you have to do is show up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So that's a good thing of hiring a realtor or a real estate agent. So let's go to my number two. Thank you for that one. We really appreciate that one. So second question, what could be the risk of not hiring a realtor or real estate agent? Um, What would you say about that one if they I don't think, want to hire a realtor? Yeah, I think not hiring a realtor, first of all, could be a really, really disadvantage for you guys because like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of data out there that you cannot access without a realtor, right? And having a second opinion makes it a lot better and makes the easier, you know, the process easier, right? And also, especially when making an offer, you need to have a contract. And if you didn't study that as your like your realtor studied it, then it is hard for you to understand what this contract is. And with you not understanding the contract, then you can, you know, make a mistakes on about this contract when making an offer, right? And then maybe, okay, I give up. I don't want, you know, to understand this contract. I don't know any of this. Then now you're going to hire an attorney because this is a contract. This is a legal binding contract, you know, that someone can sue you for it if it's not made for incorrectly. And when you hire an attorney, then now it's going to cost you more money. So always, always hire your realtor, especially a local expert in your area that knows all the laws, all this, you know, what are the things that are standards and also will remind you the date that are might not be, you know, you think it's important, but is very important, especially with your initial deposit, let's say. There's a lot of people that are not aware that once the date is done, you know, with your initial deposit, if you want to back out of the contract, you cannot, you will lose that initial deposit. So hiring a realtor not only will make the process easier, but also will, you know, do the contract for you and will explain to you what are the pros and cons in getting this property. This will also point you out, you know, the red flag. What is about this property that you should not make an offer, right? That's, that's so having right. those extra opinions and extra, you know, um, data that can present to you and will help you to choose the property wiser and easier. Correct. I totally agree on that one. And also, I just want to say as well, like for addition is if you want to do it right, don't do it yourself. I learned that from all over, over and over and over again. Because like, if you're going to do it by yourself, what can you do if you make mistakes? You don't know where to go. You don't know how to get some advice because you don't know. It's just doing it yourself. So, the good Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. And plus, <laughs> you know, if they have a full-time job, it's so hard to focus on on the home buying process, right? Yeah, that's And that's why we come in as the realtor because we already filter everything, right? We already remove the red flags properties that we shouldn't be focusing. And now, we all we have to do is present to the buyers and they can select what they want. Or if it's, you know, someone who's selling the house, now you know how you can be have or have a competitive edge in the market when selling your house because you have the expertise and the education from a realtor who put so much time in your property that will help you sell your home. Yes, fantastic. I really love that one. Thank you, Rio. So let's go to my third question. Uh, for my third question, let's go to the renters, okay? For those people who are renting a property or renting, um, you know, a flat house or townhouses, something like that. So my third question is, what is the benefits of being a homeowner than a renter? So what would you advise for those people who's in this particular um, state? Yeah, so I think one of the best thing that I love being a homeowner is your rent prices won't increase. Especially now, since the interest rates are 
are going higher, right? A lot of people are more scared to buy a home. And with that, you know, with less people buying home, then there will be more renters. And with more renters, there will be increasing demands. And what will, you know, the homeowners or the landlords will do? Increase your rent. So having a monthly rent increasing could be such a very stressful for you because your salary doesn't increase every time, right? Unless you're on commission, right? But if you're a cop, you're you're a cop, right? So I think having that, also having equity, you know, paying those monthly mortgages. Because when you're paying your rent, you know, you could be paying rent for $2,000 in 30 years, right? Let's say you find a very good landlord that will never increase rates on you. But after 30 years, what happened? You have to keep paying again to stay in the house. But if you are owning, you know, this house, then you have a home that you don't have to pay after 30 years. Or you can always refinance or sell the property, get your equity and get into a bigger home, right? That you will enjoy. Or maybe downsize and then you can use that equity as your retirement. You can use a lot of things, you know, doing a home. Owner. And also one of the things that I really, really love is that if you are a home owner, right? Having this money, investing your money into real estate will just keep going up and up. You know, real estate is a recession proof, inflation proof. Why do I say this? Because historically, your $100,000 home, let's say after 10 years, it's not going to stay the same in $100,000. It's going to increase between 3 to 5%. Or just like how we said it in the last two years, equity increases into 15%, right? right? Especially here in Tampa, we have the most equity, you know, increased home prices. I think we have increased 30%. And that's the most in the United States. So can you just imagine if you buy a home two years ago, how much equity you are sitting in? Right yeah, now? that's correct. Especially here in my area as well, I just want to include here in Claremont particularly. Um, we are building this stadium that it's like once this stadium is fully built in Claremont this is gonna they're gonna use this stadium for Olympic coming okay they're not gonna open it until like in three four more years and then after four years or three years you know the, the prices of the homes here once they fully open oh my god at probably like looking like at least half a million houses right now the houses over there who's sitting on it it's a brand new community which is right next to this uh, stadium this they're build, building it they are like selling at least 400,000 that's the starting point and I believe when they started that particular community over there it was only like 200,000 and now just only like in two years time it just doubled that's the reason like you know a good reason why you should get into real estate own a property Absolutely. yes and plus renting. one thing that I want to add is that tax deduction if you are a homeowner you can have tax deductions because you're paying mortgages and you cannot do that with yeah, rent, right and also design freedom if you are someone like me who loves boho style and you want to customize your home to be more comfortable and more you know especially if you're working from home you just want your home to be presentable because you're always there right and it's hard to do like repairs or renovation when you are renting you always have to ask permission and there's things that you know you can and you cannot do so think that's about correct. it that's correct thank you so much for that one really really interesting <laughs> so that's the video for today guys i hope this video is helpful and useful if you have any question you know what to do inbox is the key or you can email us call us text us whatever your question is we will be happy to answer all your questions once again thank you for watching in this video and i'll talk to you soon make sure to stay tuned for part two next week or a week after make sure to subscribe as well thank you again and i'm out for today peace